Well, I was in Florida two weeks ago. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, what's your result? Negative. Negative for the coronavirus for Ben Segal, who visited Florida for three days. Were you around anyone that you know of who had COVID? No. Good. But uh, what made you come and get tested? Um, I just knew that I didn't want to get my friends and family sick, so I wanted to make sure that everything was okay. But per the governor's orders, Segal is still required to quarantine. Regardless of their test being negative, they still need to quarantine for 14 days, still need to maintain social distancing like everybody else, and still need to wear their mask as well. Just because their test is negative doesn't necessarily mean they're not infected because they could be falling into that gray area of the incubation period is 14 days. Dr. Garang Brombot is the chief medical officer at Riverside Medical Group. He also strongly recommends travelers to New Jersey from those 16 hotspot states quarantine upon arrival and get tested within four to seven days. Recently, North Jersey travelers to a wedding in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, tested positive and 12 out of 13 new cases in Hoboken are a result of people traveling to states on New Jersey's quarantine list, including Florida, Texas, and the Carolinas. Some of those COVID-19 cases from southern states were discovered here in Hoboken by Riverside Medical Group under the viaduct where it's doing testing by appointment Monday through Saturday. I myself noticed about two weeks ago, we had about six days of zero positives, and then all of a sudden, one day we had six, one day we had four, uh, so I kind of stood up like, okay, what's happening here? What happened? The doctor reported the spike to Hoboken's mayor, who's urged the public to heed the governor's travel warnings. The spike points to New Jersey losing ground in the COVID-19 battle as the rate of transmission, or how many people one person infects, is edging up instead of down. Now it's back higher than one. If you've been to a hot spot, you got to self-quarantine. Governor Murphy often has cited COVID Act Now's data collection of the virus. Today, COVID Act Now said New Jersey's still among the best in handling the outbreak. New Jersey is one of the states right now that has actually seen um, a decrease on net in active COVID cases, which of course is such a marked departure from two, two and a half months ago. Um, the whole tri-state area, in fact, is doing comparatively well to you know the Floridas, the Arizonas, the, the Texases of the U.S. On Sunday, the governor went on Meet the Press and said it was time to mandate face coverings in America. Montclair State University epidemiologist Stephanie Silvera agrees. We are seeing a number of people who are pre-symptomatic or who have mild symptoms who don't recognize them as COVID. And we're seeing that that is how very often this virus is being spread. Dr. Silvera is among the scientists who thinks COVID remains infectious in aerosols longer than the World Health Organization admits. For me, the key message is when you're indoors, the risk is much higher than if you're outdoors. And so even if you can be six feet away indoors, you really need to be wearing some sort of face covering. Advice to keep the coronavirus from spreading in a state still struggling from round one of the pandemic's punch. Michael Hill. NJTV News.